Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another early fresh look courtesy of my friends over at 52 Toys, and today we are checking out their brand new offering, these are called Hexanoids, and we got two of them today to check out, nice and uh, new for Comic Con uh, week, right? So right here, I want to point out, illustrated by Mechazone, fantastic illustrations on this box. That, I love, makes it from He-Man to these, like, hand-drawn anything on top of uh, toy boxes is just fantastic. So, really cool to see Hexanoid up there in the corner. This guy's name is, of course, Omex. He's the purple and green guy. And on the back, you get to see all the different photos. Everything is uh, in different languages, right? So, I can't uh, help you out with that too much. But it's a nice layout, nonetheless. You got a little bit of bio, get to show you all the different parts and pieces, all the accessories, and yeah, overall, it's a nice presentation. And I like that the cards just go together like that. That's really cool, right? So, on the other hand, we've got Eunice, and this guy is the red and green guy, basically. So you got the purple and green, you got the red and green. Really, again, the artwork, the illustrations on this by Megazone. A-okay, number one, that's for sure. And again, same thing on the back, just that the card is kind of flipped so that they can uh, hook together just like that. You got the bio, which I'm sure talks about all his achievements and everything else. So anyways, this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Hexanoid action figures, Omex and Unis by 52 Toys. And of course, while I got you guys here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old Toys, New Toys, Daily News Updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now, in looking at these two figures, that's very cool. Comes with a weapon, comes with extra hands, and a whole heck of a lot of articulation. Speaking of the hands, you got punching hands and weapon holding hands and... I really like this hand. It's just kind of like an outstretched hand, right? Maybe he's going for a cup of coffee, something like that. The blaster is very science fiction-y. Very cool right there. You got a little handle. You have some paint, some nice teal, silvery kind of paint. That's actually kind of cool for the blaster itself. And then you've got this guy. And he's pretty darn cool. So these are going to be more in the realm of the three and three quarter inch Borderline 4-inch, right? It's got a peg hole on only one of the foots, but uh, yeah, that works for me. And the paint overall is very crisp. He's very biomechanical. He's got lots of little sculpted details every which way. And really, it's just a fun-looking robot character, right? Or automaton or whatever you want to call him. But uh, yeah, very cool. And really, what this does remind me of, Star Wars, G.I. Joe, all that aside... The Micronauts, right? You've got various clear elements to the sculpt, especially in the head right here, which you do get a heck of a lot of movement out of that. That's fairly cool. And the neck moves with you. The head is a separate piece. So yeah, you can go up, down, left, right, look up, all that kind of stuff. Right here at the shoulders, the arms, they go all the way up, no problemo. And I like the little shoulder pads right there. They move with you. You got bicep swivel. You've got single jointed elbows. And of course, the hand will rock to and fro. And it's really easy to swap out the hands. Here's the fisted hand. And uh, yeah, we'll go back to the weapon holding hand. That way, you can see how well he holds his weapon. And I'm glad that you at least get something for this guy, right? The hands are cool. Maybe an extra head, that would have been awesome, but it does feel like a complete package. You got a weapon, a couple extra hands, and you get him in all kinds of crazy poses doing his uh, gun-toting thing. Now, right here in the, we'll say, ab crunch, the middle section right there, he will move really just left and right, back, kind of, sort of, not so much going forward. In fact, the waist kind of hits the upper part. Just an FYI, it doesn't have like a full ab crunch. The legs kick out, they do all the leggy things that you can think of, and he's got some, we'll say, thigh swivel, while also having some double-jointed knees. I would say it's not always the most attractive articulation, but... For a uh, mechanical man, I would say that kind of works in terms of that. And you got some foot articulation as well, up, down, left, right, and you'll get the rock to and fro. So for being such a tiny little action figure, it's actually a pretty solid toy. I got to give it to him. Nothing feels loose. Nothing feels janky. Overall, it's a pretty solid home run. And then you have Eunice or Eunice or Eunice Thread and Green guy, right? The very cool green. That's some old school Lego space system kind of green. I like that. That totally takes me back 
to that time period right there. It's been a while since I've seen some really cool, clear green, anything like that going on. But basically almost the same body as Omex, just a couple changes here and there. But for me, this guy really does stand out. Almost kind of VR Troopers-ish, right? Everything Japanese, anime, import, there's a whole lot of things it really does remind me of. But they're entirely their own thing, and that is very cool as well. I mean, you could even go as far to say Big Bag Beetleborgs or Power Rangers to an extent, but uh, this is its own thing entirely. It's just, it's a very different prospect. And then, of course, he holds the gun as well. The guns are basically the same between the two characters. You can get them into battle doing all their crazy poses that you want to do. And really, when you look at them side to side, they look like the start of a team, right? That's actually pretty cool to see the blasters, the colors, robot, hero, villain, whatever you want to do totally works now in terms of their scalature you're going to see a vast variety you got six inch you got that five inch down to their three and three quarter yeah four inch kind of thing bucky o'hare and you have the full-on seven inch super seven so yes these will be smaller figures but being that they're smaller figures if you have let's say big old kaiju monsters which I do in spades, yeah, you can definitely put these guys together. It's part of the fun on your toy shelf, right? From Godzilla to Mechagodzilla to, I don't know, the bat from the recent Godzilla, you can do that. Or if you got a dinosaur with a saddle on it, yeah, these guys can totally write it as well. Now, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. These are not necessarily figures that I would go and get, and I really do appreciate 52 Toys sending these out for the purposes of giving you guys this fresh look. I can tell you honestly, if you're interested, if this is right up your alley, these are solid toys. I like the accessories, I like the looks, I like the guns. So if you're again, if you're a fan of things of this nature, then yeah, I would definitely check these out. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new 52 Toys Hexanoid figures, Omex and Unis. And of course, you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Hexanoids. And again, thank you to 52 Toys for sending these over to give you guys this early fresh look. If you are interested, I will put the link down in the description below, and that way you can check them out for yourselves. So, I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, we got lots more coming for San Diego Comic-Con, including some really cool TMNT Transformer-ish type bots from 52 Toys. Stay tuned for that. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.